Hello and welcome to Space Daily. I'm Giga Gabriel and today we are going to be telling you everything that happened this week in space. Sadly, not a lot happened, although what did happen was a lot. So let's go ahead and dive right in and show you what happened this week. First up was a launch landing an explosion of Starship SN10. I did a live stream right over here that you can watch it. Um, and we showed it launch and land. What we didn't show was it exploded shortly afterward. About eight minutes after launching, it exploded, which surprised a lot of us. And we think it's because um, there's some, some people think it's a fuel leak valve, some people think it landed hard. Um, I think it landed hard, and if you watch the replay, which I'll show you in just a couple seconds, very slowly, you can see it bounced when it landed. It was like, wee, boom. Um, and if you watch very closely in some of the views, you can see there are supposed to be six tiny little landing legs. I'm telling you, they're about this big. And the whole vehicle is probably massive. So, it, those six of those landing legs were supposed to deploy. All six of them did, the, did deploy, they went like that. Although three three of them, it came out, it bounced bounced up, up it came, it deployed. Yeah, the landing legs deployed and bounced right back into their position, and um, so it landed hard with only three landing legs, which we think is what caused the explosion. And um, there was a lot of pressure, and we could see the fire when it landed. Although um, luckily no one was hurt, and. It still worked, and SpaceX had no intent of reusing it. They didn't care if it exploded, but yeah, they were planning on scrapping it anyway. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and show you the views of the launch, landing, and explosion. Two, one, ignition. We have liftoff. Next up was the launch of the Falcon 9 and the landing of the Falcon 9 booster, carrying 60 Starlink satellites to orbit. Uh, let's go ahead and show you that to you. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Bearing separation confirmed. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Stage one, landing confirmed. So we've got some news for you guys um, this week. Boeing's next Starliner test flight was delayed because of the SpaceX crew rotation mission rescheduled. Um, so um, the launch companies um, have convinced the range teams to reassess the Cape Canaveral weather rules. Not too big, um, although still 
good. Um, SpaceX stuck the 75th landing um, of the star with the Starlink satellites. Um, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter spotted the Mars Perseverance rover shortly after landing. We have a picture of that, which I'll go ahead and put right over here. Um, the next Crew Dragon launch is set for April 22nd, and like I said, that caused um, that caused the Boeing Starliner launch to be um, pushed back. And Perseverance rovers um, aced the first test drive on Mars, which means that they're ready to start exploring and start learning if there was life once on Mars. Um, that's it for today. We hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.